What's up guys and welcome back to another video from me and today we are going to be doing a build and tune video for Project Cars. The car we will be using is the car you have just seen, the Ford Zack Speed Capri. It is probably one of my favourite racing cars. One for the way it sounds, it looks absolutely mental as well. Um, but the engine noise when you're driving it around it does, it gives me goosebumps. Uh, I do like the way it sounds quite a lot. Um, so I thought I'd do a build and a tune video for this for Project Cars because um, it can be a bit of a handful to drive um, with the stock tune on it. I like driving single seaters because they have bags of grip um, and they're relatively easy to drive and you usually get good races out of them. Um, but this is a car I like using um, so I wanted to have a go and see if I could actually do a building tune for it and then share it with you guys. It's not going to be a single track building tune. It's not going to be a leaderboard well high time setting tune. It is going to be hopefully a tune that you guys can actually put onto the car, drive it and enjoy it and then race it. Because obviously a single hot lap tune is very different to a race tune. Um, especially in project cars with all the tyre wear and everything else added into it as well. You have to think slightly, um, slightly differently. Um, so what I haven't done with this is I haven't gone through and set all the individual tyre um, pressures depending on which track I am because that will vary depending on how many left turns and how many right turns there are. Um, we're at Catalonia GP at the moment um, so remember this is a little bass tune so if you see one of your tyres heating up or uh, getting too cold uh, you can adjust each individual tyre pressure uh, yourself so remember if you want the car uh, the tyre to go a little bit cooler move it to the right if you want the tyre to go a little bit hotter move it to the left um, and that's how you can kind of balance it out using the telemetry or the Motec display if the car's got one, this car hasn't, um, so I had to use telemetry. Brake pressure wise, I've got it set as 85%. Um, I am using my uh, Thrustmaster TX wheel and pedals um, for this tune, so it is a wheel tune, it's not a controller tune, so I'm not too sure how this will translate into the controller tune, but if it's any good and you guys give it a go and you like it, let me know in the comment section below, because it'd be interesting to find out. Um, and also I've tuned this on PC as well, but I imagine the PC tune will be exactly the same as the Xbox tune. Uh, there's no different options, so it should hopefully handle exactly the same. Um, so brake pressure, I've got it set as 85% and 58%, but as in most racing games, those are down to personal preference. So you can set those for whatever feels better for you. Um, brake duct, I've opened it up a little bit just to keep the brakes a little cooler. Um, they were heating up quite a bit on some of the heavy braking sections for this track. Um, so I've just opened it up a little bit. Um, traction control slip, I've got my assist set to real, um, so I'm not sure if this car in real life had traction control or not. Um, I presume it did, because the option is there for me to pick. Um, but I've got it set as 8%, um, which is kind of just below middle, so it's like, like kind of safe grounds. But again, you can alter that how you want. This is just a 
basically a bass tune which I hope you guys can take and enjoy driving um, and get yeah in the seat a little bit more front downforce we have none so we can't change that rear downforce I've added a little um, we've got up to a five so that's just over halfway uh, and the weight bias I did try moving it to the rear a little bit to try and counteract some of the uh, wheel spin coming out the corners um, but it didn't work so I left it in the middle which is where it should be when you first go into it alignment I've lowered the steering ratio down by one um, or one little notch it was on 15.0.1 um, just so I can get a bit more responsiveness out the steering um, and likewise with the caster angle I've also lowered those down as well um, you see on the caster angle most car uh, on the caster angle settings here most cars are not particularly sensitive to caster settings but used in conjunction with other settings a greater angle can aid straight line driving whilst a smaller angle can make your car react quicker to steering and I was very finding with my wheel it wasn't turning fast enough so I've lowered these down a little bit along with the steering ratio and it seemed to have held it out just nicely uh, front camber and rear camber, I haven't really changed anything. I was watching the telemetry as I was driving around and I wasn't getting any, any uneven tyre heat in the tyre, so it works. So I've left it as it is. Uh, and the rear toe, all I've done is increased it by 0.1. When you load it up, that will be 0.1 anyway, so I've just increased it to 0.2. Uh, right height, I've left at exactly the same. I haven't changed it. I uh, didn't want to drop it too much in case you start hitting the kerbs and the kerbs becoming a problem or some of the bumpier tracks, that might be an issue as well. Um, so as an overall general tune, um, I've left those as they are. You can see the spring rates and uh, the anti-roll bars. I don't think I've changed a lot in them anywhere. The car, once I've made these few little changes that I have done, seem to handle pretty well. Um, and I'm just going to hope that they're going to work on other tracks. I'm, I'm yet to test them. So if you test them on a track that's not Catalonia GP, let me know in the comment section which track you tested it on and how you got on with it. Uh, bump stop are all bottom and then I've had a little tinker with the bump, uh, slow bump, fast bump, fast rebound and uh, fast bump settings as well. Um, I'll just scroll through them slowly so you guys can get a chance to note what they are and uh, see them. Um, but yeah, a little tinker with these just to try and make the car a bit more steady going into corners and coming out of corners um, and how it sets into the bends as well. So a little tinker with these, this se again seems to work out pretty well. Um, so feel free to copy them and paste them into your tune. Differential, we've left at 90%. Um, again, I haven't changed any of these. It, the car felt fine just as they were. Radiator, I've opened a little bit um, just because I didn't want the engine overheating. So if you're doing a short race, you might be able to close that a little bit. Um, if you're doing a longer endurance type race, you might want to open it and just keep an eye on the uh, engine temperatures. Final drive, I didn't really change the final drive, but I did move these up a little bit to spread them out a touch um, just to try and get me with more top speed this track has got a long um, long straight on it which I was running out of gears on the stock setting so I've just increased these individual ones um, but you can obviously if you want more acceleration move it to the left if you want more top speed move it to the right if you just want to do a quick general change or you can tinker with these yourself um, as you wish fuel load we're going to cover that because that's just for this testing uh, wastegate pressure, it starts at 2.40 bar, um, so that's how much boost you get. Now you, this is again, this is probably something that you can change down to personal preference. You can try, if you're losing the back end under boost um, when you're full throttle, then you might want to try just dropping this down a little bit, it may help. Um, and likewise, if you want a bit more power and a bit more oomph in the engine, you can boost this up as well. But again, it will be a lot more boost and you will have to be a bit more, a bit more sensitive on the, the throttle control that goes with it. Brake mapping, I believe that was on zero. I've just bumped that up to one um, just to give a bit of security and we don't want the um, rear wheels locking up um, if we're using the brake too heavily. Um, and that brings us back to the front page. So that's the build and the tune. Well, I say the build and the tune. It is the tune. You can't build in this game. I'm getting caught up in my falls of building tune. Um, so I'll just go through these slowly again just to let you guys uh, have a look at them just in case I've missed anything off. And we'll scroll up and down. But yeah, overall, this car is, as I said, it's one of my favourites to drive. And I do really enjoy driving it. It can be quite challenging on some tracks. Um, but hopefully this tune will aid your enjoyment in driving this car. Because um, it does sound absolutely amazing. So this is only the second build, uh, building tune. I'll, I'll leave it as building tune. Building tune video for um, Project Cars because it has took me quite a while to get back into it. And after patch 2.0, it was a little bit better. Well, it is a lot better than it has been previously. We're actually getting some decent multiplayer races now. 
Um, I just want the pit stop bug to be fixed, and then that pretty much covers everything for me. Anyway, personal issues with project cars. Yours might be different. Um, I'm sure you will have some different ones. Um, but there you go, guys. So take it out on track. Uh, give it a spin. As I said, let me know in the comment section below how you get on with it, which tracks you used it on, um, what your thoughts are. If you make any changes on it that you see, think improve it, let me know because I can test them out as well. Um, and if you've got any questions, just post them down below because if I don't have the answers, other guys will. And between everybody that watches this video, we can all help each other out to uh, enjoy this car and this game a little bit more. Um, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed. If you have, feel free to hit that like button. Um, try and build the likes up for this. Get a bit more exposure for my channel. Um, subscribe if you are new to my channel. If you have it, the subscribe button. Thank you and welcome. Um, and until my next video, I'll see you all soon.